Let's go on and make some non-Euclidean portals. Ordinary portals can only connect adjacent sectors that are built next to each other and share common line like here all uh, the sectors in this map are connected with uh, ordinary Euclidean portals that are used by the engine to speed up rendering by clipping the invisible parts of the map and making the rendering faster but what if I want to connect remote parts of the map for example what if I want this room to be accessible from this room with the entrance here or there uh, instead of that closed door that we used to well let me show what I mean I go to the editor overhead to the view press U key over this line and the editor asks me to pick the second object and go go here and select this wall now it has changed color and this means that this there's a, a non-Euclidean portal has been created and this is how it looks and uh, now it can be continued from here for example connect these walls and now I can get through the same room from the opposite side now I want to connect to here closer to the exit now I, I can connect these walls these walls and these to extend the hallway further and it looks like a hallway that connects different parts of the map and where it ends it, let's finish it at the uh, opposite side of this this wall so I have to traverse through entire map and end up just at the opposite side of this wall and this is how it looks and you might might see may see that uh, I see myself I can see myself in some places and the player's pride is a bit off because um, well Brahma engine uh, requires the sprite position to be positioned uh, well, at its center of mass and doom sprite is uh, has an origin in its bottom and its feet here's the conflict but it can be corrected Well, now I can get here and build a portal that leads to the exit room. But now it will be a sizing portal, meaning that it makes the space larger or smaller, and you you shrink when you go through this portal, becomes smaller and uh, time also gets slower but this port uh, this type of portals can be used for scenery if, if we make the wall blocking making it inaccessible but you can see through it and there may be some scenery that is large and uh, 
larger than the limit that is imposed by the engine. It's kind of 8 kilometers across the maximum distance that is allowed by the default coding system. So we can connect any walls that are except walls that are in the same sector that may, might give problems at the current current stage. Well, these walls happen to be the same width so I can traverse through these portals without being resized despite being at different angles basically you can use these portals to for precise rotation and the scaling is in fact optional I mean that you don't have to scale everything at shift and key will make scaling scaling turn on and off and it is unfinished feature so it's kind of doesn't function as it should as you traverse through these portals you still get resized although you shouldn't because the portals are non-scaling in this case they are only translation and rotation portals this can be useful for precise rotation because the uh, well the sectors are geometry is stays in place the space itself that gets warped and that might be might be useful for um, a lot of cases I think it would be useful in making rotating frames of reference. Well, basically that's it. And another interesting thing. Well, basically you could could also connect walls that are have a, a ordinary portal in at the top and the non Euclidean portal at the bottom but the editor doesn't seem to support that well so far. For example if you connect well, Shift or Control U, Control U hotkey to well, disconnect the portals. Now they are disconnected. Now I can connect these walls to this, making a weird, some weird. Well, this. This this wall just doesn't have a texture, so there's a hole in there. Is I can make a texture. It won't take. But if I try to connect these walls again, well, it doesn't get right. Even if I rebuild the connection, but it the engine itself is capable of um, making. Non Euclidean portals stacking them with each other, so it shouldn't be a problem. And this is when you make an example uh, portal that looks like a prey portal, like, uh, you, you know, this arc shaped portals that you can view uh, and walk over that portal and that's uh, 
can't work in uh, Doom uh, Source ports, for example, but it could work in Brahma Engine uh, without much problem. So, this is quite powerful feature of it. Supposed to be used by level designers in some various novel ways to build intricate maps. And even if I make an infinite corridor, well, it may, may be snow, but the engine handles it pretty well. Models where you can scale yourself indefinitely because it's likely to cause problems. For example, in here you can shrink yourself indefinitely, becoming smaller and smaller. And this doesn't end uh, uh, until the engine is glitching out was shown in some of my older videos mm, but these kind of models can be used freely if you can't return for example from this scaled part of the map if it's isolated from the rest of the map then it could be used I think be more useful. So I'd like to show some more features later. For now that's it. Thanks for stopping by and see you later.